This morning, desperate parents begging authorities to spare their children after a weekend of stunning violence between police and protesters in Hong Kong. I spoke with parents whose 16 year old son is still trapped inside. They're hoping he'll leave today for the hospital. His father thinks he has hypothermia. Are you proud of your son? He had give so much effort and sacrifice so many things for the Hong Kong. Young anti-government demonstrators taking over Hong Kong Polytechnic University late last week, fighting off police with Molotov cocktails, bows and arrows, even catapults, turning the campus into a fortress of dissent. Politicians and parents trying to coax the youngest protesters out. Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, saying at least 200 children have been allowed to leave under a temporary amnesty deal. About 400 protesters have already been arrested and are facing serious charges and jail time. The latest clash at the university following months of unrest. In June, the protesters began as peaceful marches and rallies against an unpopular bill that would have allowed the extradition of criminal suspects to mainland China. Opponents feared the now withdrawn legislation would have exposed Hong Kong residents to unfair trials and harsh treatment, while also giving China more influence over the former British colony. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo calling on all sides of the Hong Kong conflict to exercise restraint. And for an independent investigation into accusations of police misconduct during the protests.